Hey everyone, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled that you're here. I'm gonna do another stamping journal card video. This time I am doing Everyday Explorers cards and I'm gonna be doing a total of five cards. This first one is going to be the Ghoul Gang card and I'm using the Ghost from the Strange and Unusual stamp set from, designed by Carrie Styles for Everyday Explorers. So I did two bold pink ghosts, and then I did kind of the outline ghost, and I did their faces, then I added the ghoul gang, and then I'm gonna add some sparkles, and then the pink kind of splotch sparkle, I guess you could call it, and then that card is done. So a very simple card, but it's very cute with the ghoul gang on it. And then I'll move on to the next card, which is going to be kind of a skull card. I picked an orange that was kind of a little bit brighter um, once you stamp it on the orange so the skull really pops off the page, which I really liked. It gave that really spooky vibe. I then decided to stamp on a prompt on it as well and you can barely see it. It's spooky stories and I stamped it in an ink that you just really can't tell unless you like turn it towards the light. but. That's okay, I tried my best, but I really like the skulls. And, you know, turning it to the light makes it seem even more spooky, like a hidden message is there. <laughs> I also took the skull journaling spot and put some washi tape over the lines in the journaling spot, so that way I could just get the outline of the journaling spot. Then I'll fussy cut it out along with the prompt spooky stories, and then I will lay those down. I'm also gonna add in two black stamped phrases that'll really make everything pop. So it'll be foolish mortals and spooky season I'll stamp twice. And I'll do that for the top left corner and the bottom right corner, and then that card will be done. And I just love it, especially like I said with that skull that pops off. And then using that washi tape trick to cover what you don't need works so good. Okay, so for this next one, I'm gonna do a tilted uh, design and I'll use the prompt stamp set, Fall and Winter. And I'm doing Trick or Treat and All the Candy, Hello Halloween, and I'm just repeating that. And I started in the middle. That way I could get a good sense of the design to include all the prompts starting from the middle outwards. And using that T ruler really helped me to keep everything straight. And so I will probably use this journaling card to uh, document our favorite candy for the season. I recently saw Crystal did a two by two pocket page with uh, some candy. So I thought that, that was a clever idea. So I might do something like that but I am gonna add a torn piece of black paper and then stamp candy and then mat the word candy on the black paper and it just really pops off the page. Again, I feel like that's kind of what I'm going for with these different journaling cards and it just really makes candy kind of stand out. Um, I am gonna move on to the next card which is going to be all about pumpkins. So that one's all done. And now I'm gonna do a card that is just pink and I'm gonna leave most of it blank for journaling and I'm gonna do a bunch of different pumpkins. But first I decided to start on this card. You guys, this card is amazing and I had the best time stamping it. Jenny McGarvey talks about um, doing this post-it note trick with her stamps and I'll leave her Instagram. But basically you take these uh, post-it notes and then you stamp out the image and that way it's like a mask. I would recommend, I did only two, but I would recommend even doing like five or six or seven and a small army of these. That way you can use them as you go. So when you go to stamp, you cover up a portion of the stamp. That way it looks like it's behind it. And that way you don't get the lines on the pumpkin from the previous section. So as you go, you can use the post-it notes to cover up the sections that you don't need stamped. And it makes it look really three-dimensional and like you're a professional at making three-dimensional journaling cards. And I just think this stamp technique is brilliant and uh, like I said use lots of the post-it note uh, sections 
I had to clean off my table a little bit after all of that and now I'm going to color in the pumpkins and once again you're going to need to use the post-its to help you uh, fill in the pumpkin insides. First I fussy cut out the pumpkins for the pink card and those pumpkins are going to be a pink and a purple and an orange and I'm also going to do the same type of orange on this card. Not all the pumpkins are going to need to be covered up, but most of them will, you'll probably need to use the post-it note. And if you can see in the middle of this pumpkin card I'm making, there's a really awkward looking pumpkin. I'm going to cover that up with some uh, stamp phrases. Genius, clever idea, right? But that covers up that little mistake and mishap with the stamping. But like I said, if you have a ton of these kind of mass post-it note cutouts, you might not get as messy as I did. I got so messy with these and just using the post-it notes over and over again. So I have the orange pumpkin and the purple pumpkin and the pink one, and then I'm just gonna stack them later on onto this pink card. But for now, I'm working on filling in the different insides of the pumpkin. And like I said, I'm gonna do some greens and some oranges and some reds, all the different fall colors I'm going to include in this journaling card. And I just, I love it. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. I've been like wanting to try this stamp technique, but I've been kind of just putting it off and not trying it for whatever reason. And I love it. I had so much fun. This is why I'm saying sometimes stamps and playing with your stamps can be such a fun way for us grown-up scrapbookers to just play and give ourselves an invitation to play because yes you'll get messy and yeah you might mess up but you'll still have a lot of fun putting together this card um, and that's how it was for me. So I'm just going through this card and trying to make sure that I fill in the spots with a good amount of color. I did green in like four different sections. That way it gave it kind of a difference between all the oranges and the reds. So those kind of almost made like visual points of interest, which I was really going for. Um, that way it helped your eye move around the journaling card. And as you can see on the pink one, I pop dotted the purple pumpkin and the pink pumpkin and then just made like a little corner of pumpkins. And then I stamped my two phrases, favorite season and pick of pick a pumpkin and those are done. I've got five cards, you guys, and I had a blast playing with my stamps. And I hope you guys enjoyed another video of how to make your own journaling cards. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you're new to my channel. Have a great day. Bye.